Hello there and welcome to a slightly new look forecast for Tropical Cyclones, this time for Tropical Storm Alvin, currently with winds of 50 miles per hour out in the open eastern Pacific, is expected to move towards the west, maybe west northwest over the next five days. As a tropical storm, not expected to become a hurricane anymore, as was previously forecasted, um, but instead as a mid to high end tropical storm over the next five days out in the open eastern pacific not expected to threaten any land areas looking at the sea surface temperatures as you can see just about the area where alvin is in but uh here's my rendition of these surface temperatures currently around 30 degrees around the area where alvin is currently tracking that's uh, six, uh 86 degrees fahrenheit and expected to move over cooler waters eventually uh, here's some model runs. The area inside the blue oval is what we're interested in here, the CMC forecast as you can see the storm panning towards the west uh, throughout the eastern Pacific, the SMWF forecast there as well, uh, not expecting a um, particularly strong storm as you can see there. Um, looking at the GFS run, um, slightly stronger storm on the cards perhaps on that one, uh, dipping maybe below a thousand millibars briefly as a tropical storm. Looking at the uh, nav gem by the US Navy, um, as you can see here, um, they predict more of a curve towards the north and maybe towards the east eventually but probably not threatening land at least uh, by the time it dissipates. Same with the GDFL curving towards the north and east there towards the end of the run um, with a peak wind speed of around 60 miles per hour. HWRF perhaps weaker and that curves it towards the south at the very end of the uh, run as well as you can see there. But certainly over the next five days we're not looking at any land areas under threat from this storm and it's certainly expected to dissipate before it reaches any significant land areas. Uh, the latest satellite imagery here the past few hours of what Albin's been up to out in the eastern Pacific um, not been moving very fast and that's likely to continue over the next five days. Slow movement meaning possibly another reason for a lack of intensification. Satellite imagery showing not much in the way of um, further intensification just yet. Staying around 50 miles per hour overnight with an air pressure of 1,003 millibars and that is likely to very much continue at least over the next uh, day or two for this storm as it moves out towards the uh, west out in the eastern Pacific here. So now let's look at the usual pan around the world as we do on each and every forecast uh, the current time May 16th 1600 hours UTC that's 4 p.m. looking at the world tropics uh, you can see Alvin there out to the far uh, west in the eastern Pacific and of course Cyclone Mahassan which has made landfall this morning in Bangladesh and is moving inland and weakening fairly quickly and here's also a wide shot of the Pacific as you can see Alvin is the only storm out there at the moment uh, this picture taken early this morning that's why it's under darkness at the moment in the Pacific of course it's just getting light over there at this time the central and western Pacific very quiet at the moment uh, looking at the uh, comparison table uh, currently of course in 65th place because it's the first storm I don't think we'd expect any movement in the table so far the first storm has indeed formed uh, no hurricanes or major hurricanes yet of course because the season just began yesterday and uh, began in quite a way with Alvin forming on the first day of the season. You see there 64th place the quietest season on record 1953 with four tropical storms and two hurricanes. And looking at the predictor season scores you can find out on the website how to submit your prediction for the season. It's not too late, it won't be for quite a while. As you can see, points are going down for many of the people who submitted for zero storms, which is uh, quite a few of you. Um, but I don't know where you got the motivation from, but there you have it. And of course, you can track the storm on the website, force13.com forward slash stormtracking.html. Or elsewhere on the web, Facebook and Twitter, just search force13 in the search bar. You should find it fairly easily. This update may have seemed uh, perhaps a little bit rushed because it is the first one of its kind, of course. Uh, just still getting the hang of things in the new format. Back with another update tomorrow when things will probably slow down a little bit and uh, have a little bit more in-depth. Um, so I'll see you then for the next update. Update 3 tomorrow.